Edward? You at the mansion? Uh, yes, sir. Just arrived. All right. Separate all the witnesses and keep them in their rooms. And be quick about it. Don't talk to anyone. Don't let them near the body. And don't let them leave their rooms. Lock them in if you have to. Wait near the body till I'm there. All right, sir. I am next to the body. Everyone's in separate rooms, awaiting your instructions. Great job. I'll be there as soon as I can. Attention. A pandemic outbreak has been officially declared. All duties are suspended, and a full 24-hour lockdown is to be observed. No one is to leave their current residence for any reason. Well, seems like you'll be spending the night. I'll check in with you once the lockdown lifts. What? Yeah, wait, hold on. Damn, the radio's dead. Looks like I get to spend the night with a dead body. My first real assignment. Hmm. Maybe I can impress the inspector if I solve the case while I'm stuck in here. Let's question the suspects. I need to find the killer and the murder weapon. I told everyone to go to their computers and open womb chat. They're waiting for me. I'll check the body once I'm sure of the murder weapon. I can use this computer to interrogate the suspects. Oh, come on! The screen's not working. I need to fix that first. Let's see. TV antenna is working well. Now I just need to pick up a signal from the computer. I need two large and pointy objects to create my own antenna. Then I need to cut the cable and connect it to that antenna. This might be useful. An elephant tusk. Really. This house is weird. An elephant tusk. Really. This house is weird. A large knife next to the body. Suspicious? Yes. Evidence? Absolutely. That is one massive bone. Eh. That is one massive bone. Eh. That seems pointy enough. That seems pointy enough. It needs the cable. Let's cut the cable on the other end. That should do it. My custom-made antenna seems to be working. I'll need to patent that fix once I get out of here. I'm sure it's getting the signal, but there's no picture. There's a note. Smack the TV if it's not working. My dainty fists aren't going to have much effect. Need a heavier, hammer-like object. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Let's see if that worked. Aha! I'll need to patent that fix once I get out of here. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Don't worry about the others, I've muted their connection, and they can't hear us. Hello. I'm Clara, Adam's wife. What can you tell me about Mr. George? What sort of thing? Well, was it a happy marriage? Of course. Adam was a kind, honest man, and I can't quite believe he's gone. Sorry for your loss. How long were you married? We just celebrated our second anniversary. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have any idea what could have happened? I honestly don't know. I have no idea why anyone would want to hurt him. He could be forthright, of course. Did anyone else have any problems with Mr. George? No. We all loved him. I loved him. Is your family a happy one? Yes, we're a close-knit, happy family. I don't know what we will do now. Do you know if Mr. George had any enemies? No one. Everyone liked and respected him. How is your relationship with your daughter? With Claudia. She is our darling, and the light of our lives. Though she isn't your biological daughter, right? What difference does that make? It doesn't change how I feel about her. I love her very much. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Don't worry about the others, I've muted their connection and they can't hear us. My name is Claudia George. I am the daughter of Adam George, the murder victim. What can you tell me about your father? He is, was a kind man, a good father. Raised me by himself ever since mother passed away. Did you have any problems with your father? No. As I said before, he was a kind man. He may have had his foibles regarding women, certainly, but I loved him regardless. Do you have any idea what could have happened? I... no, not the moment. Please find out who did this, Inspector. Did any of the employees have any problems with your father? Not at all. Everyone is well paid and happy to be working here. Do you have any other family? Anybody we could contact about your father's passing? Sadly, it was always just the two of us, but I couldn't have asked for a better father. The two of you? What about your mother? She is not my mother. Oh, sorry about that. So, your stepmother, then? Technically, yes. I just call her that harpy and ignore her for the most part. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Don't worry about the others, I've muted their connection, and they can't hear us. My name is Weber Smith. I am the butler of this mansion and also responsible for all its employees. When did you start working in this mansion? I have been working here for nine years. What can you tell me about Mr. George? An extraordinary man. He always treated us with great respect. Did you have any problems with Mr. George? Absolutely not. It was an honor to work for Mr. George. Do you have any idea what could have happened? I am as shocked as everyone else. I have no idea why anyone would want to hurt Mr. George. Did anyone else have any problems with Mr. George? Nothing serious comes to mind. Everyone was happy to be here. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Don't worry about the others, I've muted their connection, and they can't hear us. My name is Sophia Thomas, and I work as the maid here. When did you start working in this mansion? Five years ago, I believe. What can you tell me about Mr. George? A strong and determined man. Respectful to his employees. 
Did you have any problems with Mr. George? Problems? Oh. N no, of course not. Never. Do you have any idea what could have happened? Not at all. Who could have done this awful thing to Adam? Please. You must get to the bottom of this. Adam? Were the two of you on a first-name basis? Oh, it, yes, that's right. He asked us all to address him that way. He was a very humble man. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Don't worry about the others, I've muted their connection, and they can't hear us. I am Joseph Paul, the house chef, and master of the culinary arts. When did you start working in this mansion? With all due respect, Inspector, I am hungry, and I refuse to be harangued when I'm hungry. This poor animal should still be walking around. I always hated Adam's strange hobby. There's a combination lock. It is locked. I buried the key to my heart. The roots look incredibly strong. The mice know better than to show themselves while I'm here. Poor thing looks like it's about to fall apart. There's something under the roots. It worked. Adam, I can't believe he's gone. Who could have done this? There's something written on the back. The number 85, and then it says the second half. The fireplace tong is missing. Yeah, I'm not touching that with my bare hands. That should do it. There's something written on that piece of paper. 7-1, the first half. Well, that's cryptic. Why do you have an elephant head in your room? Oh, this. I know it seems odd, but Adam is very fond of taxidermy. I can't stand it, but the elephant's been here longer than I have. The missing tusk is in the library. Do you have any idea why it's there? Adam was obsessed with it because it was broken. He was trying to fix it. There's a rhino head in the library as well. Did he collect them? Yes. Actually, that was a very rare one. Adam spent months tracking it down. It arrived yesterday. What's inside the locked wardrobe? I don't know. It's locked.
Seems unusual for a maid to be keeping pictures of her employer, wouldn't you say? Oh, no, it's not mine. I was going to return it to the library after I cleaned it. What's with that number on the back of that photo? 85? I, I don't know. It also says it's the second half. Why would you keep rat poison in your room? I'm ashamed to say it, but we have a bit of a mouse problem in the mansion. I was going to take care of the situation myself. The fireplace tong is missing. Yeah, I'm not touching that with my bare hands. There's something written on that piece of paper. 7-1, the first half. Well, that's cryptic. Would you try the code 7185? All right, Inspector. There's a combination lock. Ah, that's right. Adam's handgun. I don't want to touch that. There is no fireplace here. I've been cleaning this all day. Still needs that extra spot of polish. I have the strongest urge to crumple it up and throw it away, but I can't. A final notice from my bank, those heartless bloodsuckers. My dear fiancé, I know we'll get back together. There's a combination lock. The manual for the latest, hottest gaming console. Page 3. Connect the red cable into the third slot. Gamepad 1 is on setting 2. Gamepad 2 is on setting 4. There's a combination lock. I got it! A used syringe. It's already been used. A 
rare strain of giant turkey, exquisitely endangered. Ah, what a masterpiece. A shame that it's already cold. Every bite would be like ash in my mouth. This part looks salvageable. It will have to do, I suppose. Unfortunately, I am without my best knife. I need something else to cut this. This might be useful. The turkey will need some additional flavor to make reheating it worthwhile. Excellent! This will revitalize the flavor of the turkey! I need something to moisturize it, otherwise it will be extremely dry. Patience! It needs around 30 minutes to cook properly. Let's speed this up a bit. Mmm, delicious! Truly, I am a culinary genius. A warning letter from Mr. George. A complete misunderstanding. The boorish behavior of one drunken guest was left on me for no good reason. Can you explain what you are doing with a gun? Nothing. It's Adam's gun. This your boyfriend? Fiancé, and... Not anymore. My father forced us to break the engagement. I don't blame him, though. Not completely. I blame his wife. That harpy had him wrapped around her bony little fingers. What's that syringe for? Well, if you must know, absolutely none of your business. I'd better question the other suspects first, and gather more intel before pushing any further. Seems like you had some financial issues. Care to elaborate? Ah, oh, simply a problem with a loan of mine. Nothing to concern yourself over. Interesting that you keep a fireplace tong in your room, especially since there isn't even a fireplace in there. I was cleaning it. When did you start working in this mansion? I've been working here for about a year now. Mr. George himself hired me. You must be pretty good at cooking then. Oh yes, I specialize in cooking rare, exotic animals. You name it and I will know how best to prepare it. What can you tell me about Mr. George? A man of exceptional taste. Literally, he knows his food. Did you have any problems with Mr. George? Not at all. He was an excellent employer. Do you have any idea what could have happened? Absolutely not. It's shocking. Shocking, I say! Who would murder a man who appreciates the delights of a honey-roasted hyena? Did anyone else have any problems with Mr. George? I don't believe so. 
but I'm not particularly close with anyone else in the household, so I'm not sure. Tell me about this letter. Seems like Mr. George wasn't too happy with you. You misunderstand. There was an issue with a guest who went a little too heavy on the Alicante Boucher. Caused quite the scene. Care to explain why your knife was in the library? The turkey I served for dinner was larger than normal. I needed that knife to better slice its juicy, moist meats. I have to tell you, Mr. Smith, that bank statement and the fireplace tongue looks pretty suspicious to me. If you have anything else to say, now would be the time. If you have anything else to say, now would be the time. Do you have anything else to tell me? Ah, oh, actually, I just remembered something. A rather delicate situation. It was none of my business, but... Please go on. Might be important to the case. You see, Miss Sophia was close to Mr. George. Perhaps far closer than she should have been. You mean they had an affair? I wouldn't put it so crassly, but yes. I believe Mr. George annulled the arrangement recently, however. Miss Sophie might still be upset about that. That might be important. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I have to tell you, Miss George, you telling me that you had a perfect relationship with your father while also being clearly upset that he broke off your engagement, and the syringe that you also refused to explain, that all looks pretty suspicious to me. If you have anything else to say, now would be the time. Do you have anything else to tell me? Yes, that harpy, his wife. There's something you should know about her. Please go on. Might be important to the case. That woman has had multiple previous husbands, and guess what they had in common? They were all rich, and now, they are all dead. No. Yes. My father was merely the next unfortunate victim on her list. You mustn't let her get away with it. That's what I'm here for. Thank you for your time, Miss George. I've narrowed the suspects down to two. Time to inspect the body to confirm the murder weapon. Aha! Now this is how a proper detective solves a crime. It's either the wife with the gun, or the maid with the rat poison. That's weird. The body doesn't have any wounds. What's going on here? Attention residents. We have isolated the cause of the pandemic outbreak. The virus appears to be activated by the presence of a rhino, a turkey, and an elephant, all in the same room as a human being. Apparently it passes from the rhino, to the elephant, and then to the turkey, before finally infecting the human. So really, it's absolutely nothing to worry about. What are the chances of all those animals being in the same place at the same time? Oh, dang. Everyone return to your duties. That is all. Ugh. I can't breathe. 